in our generation, selfishness has hindered people from starting their ministry. Because people want to do ministry for themselves. They want to make a name. They want to become famous. Ministry is not for yourself. Jesus says, don't carry a post for yourself. It's not about you. I'm not sending you for you. I'm sending you for them. Don't think about yourself when you go to ministry. Think about others. How can I bless you? How can I heal the sick? How can I help others? People come to church with this mentality of collecting, collecting, collecting. That's why we are not producing ministers as saints anymore. I just want to collect from church, collect from church. Nobody comes to church with, what can I offer today? What can I do for God today? How can I serve people? How can I help people? Nobody's thinking about that. I want to collect. Because all the programs are designed for you to collect. Seven Sundays of favor. Three ninths of your enemy don't scatter. Forty-four judgmental services. Just, just selfish rubbish. Nobody is trying to equip believers to help others. That's what ministry is about. Let me say it like this. Many supernatural ministries started when people used God's supernatural principle of love and honor to cater for people naturally. Listen to it again. But let me say this before I say this. People think that ministry is all about supernatural power. Not necessarily supernatural power, but supernatural principles. For instance, service is a supernatural principle. Jesus says in the kingdom of this world, there are kings lord it over them. In my own kingdom, the king serves. Whoever will be greatest in this kingdom must serve. It's a supernatural principle of selflessness. You may not have supernatural power. You may not be Spider-Man or Superman. Or you can say, okay, I just want to be selfless. So all I will do is to give myself to washing the toilet. By that supernatural principle of selflessness, you are actually doing ministry. Do you understand it? The Bible speaks about Joshua and Elisha. It describes them as people who poured water on the hands of Elijah. Which anointing do you need to pour water? It was the supernatural principle of honor. You may say it's just an ordinary work. That's what you can in your own eyes. When God looks at it, it causes ministry. In fact, Joshua was called a minister to Moses. Joshua, a minister of Moses. Not because he laid hands on Moses, <laughs> but because he was just pouring water. People say, ministry, ministry, ministry. Listen to me. You can begin from supernatural principles. It will now extend and modify itself into supernatural ability. 